Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Bear with me, it's been another long night. And it'll be another long day too, it looks like. And I feel as though I kind of left you hanging on that last Fat Boy amp. <clears throat> I'll put the camera down here in a minute so you can see everything. But uh, these variables, you'll see it in a minute, are nothing but a pain in the ass. Period. From the word go, you know, lemon. Let's take a look at this. It's the same radio. Or no, I'm sorry. Same amp. Volts at 14.25. By the way, my power supplies, they don't change a decimal up or down. Alright? So, let's see. Let me just touch this. And it's going to keep changing. I'll get to that. There we go. Alright. For low power. It's actually set at 25. But the variable doesn't like hanging on very well. Yeah, believe it or not, that's a Class C. Alright, let's take a look at 30 megahertz. Go back to high power. I know. You want to see the meter go woo woo woo, right? Hold on. Turn that radio up. We don't squeal. Alright, there we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Audio. Don't want the squeal. So I'll get back over here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, break, break. A little bit of echo. It's just a general lease set up to do this. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, 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 break. Uh, it depends on how much echo that you like. But there's all that part, as you can see. Now, let's get this thing open. Real quick. You see where everything was set. I don't recommend anybody doing this, really. Especially with it on. But, well, I'll iron warm up real quick. How to disable this. Variable. Is actually fairly simple. Amps are actually very simple. If you lose the stickers on the back, for instance, okay, to the plug in, well, just look at it. Take the lid off and look. In and out. Look at the relay. Just like these makeshift, that's uh, just how they all do them. Keying circuit. It'll be on one side. <clears throat> Where it comes in, you turn the power on, energize the relay. When it's off, it just goes straight across and right on out. So here's a keying circuit. And uh, it just goes on through. It keys. It keys the power. It comes on down. And this is what feeds the driver. And this variable resistor has a, a ground, a shunt to ground, and another resistor. The type of resistor is very important when you turn the camera. It makes it difficult when I can't see everything at the same time. But uh, if you want to disable this and not smoke anything, you could change the input tune. You could do a lot of different things. Iron out of your worm. This is all you really got to do is my head in the way. It's pretty self explanatory just by looking at it. Okay? Now we've bypassed this variable. A screw in it so it has a fan. See what our carrier is now? Much higher. But the capacitors are charging, discharging. Class C. 
but it will it'll end up having a higher pure. Once everything stabilizes, it'll stay there. It's got like about another 20 or so watts. Now we go low. Now the radio has to be readjusted again. Retuned. You can see what just a couple of watts do. Now this one, when it's set up, and it's going to end up with a general lead. <coughs> It'll be set up at like low power 25 watts and high power 100 watts. It's going to be a little bit high now, as you can see. And it's going in. It's going into compression. Let me shut that off. Just that little bit. See how it's climbing. Once it gets to its normal temperature, normally that's where I tune everything warm it'll settle down but without the variable there's no fluctuation and it isn't doing any weird kind of shit way more stable there's this misconception or idea that people have I guess in their head that they think that they get a variable that they can just start switching shit around it don't work that way. You can't do it. If you don't have the test equipment and know what you're doing, you're never going to get it right. You might maybe get in the baseball diamond of a football field, but it's like a selling point. I know a lot of guys put these on there. I wish you wouldn't. That's the job of the technician, to match them up, and they stay that way. You shouldn't be switching stuff around. See what works here. And see what works there because if you're doing that you obviously have no flipping clue what you're doing it might piss you off but sometimes you gotta eat from the plate that you dish from you know it's the truth isn't it obvious so try to stay away from these and that's how you can bypass it if you don't feel comfortable don't do it don't do what I did I did it with the power on if you do it make sure you're in a clean environment clean iron no junk all over the place. Alright? One more, well, one more thing. Hold on, you're gonna like this. So if you stay tuned in to the end of the video, you'll be more educated than the rest of them that thought they knew everything. face of it in there. This out of the way. Reconnect the variable. See how it's already dropped back down again. That's all the loss and resistance. Alright, let that warm up for a second. Get things calibrated here. Let's see. It's going to be hard to get this and the scope in at the same for the spectrum analyzer. No, I can get it in there. I want to do this long, the fan's not on, so pay attention. I'm going to adjust the variable here. I want you to watch what happens to the negative peak ratio. And the prior video, I was kind of showing that a little bit. How everything's done, I'm not going to show that, but I'm going to show you what happens with this variable. And if you think anything's a joke or a setup, it's not. It's all in plain sight with some of the it's not the best on the planet. This is all really good shit. A lot of time is put into this to get you the maximum performance, period, watt for watt. All right. See the pattern? You've been watching it now, so you know everything's set up. See the variable? Look at the negative peaks. That's halfway. 
right? Look at that. Now let's go like this. What are you going to do with that? Get walked down by half the power and splatter all over the place? Let's take a look. Splat. Let's turn it down some more. Turn the scope. I'm not trying to discourage anyone from anything. I'm just trying to educate you a little bit. I'll put a little bit of voice into it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You might even think, oh, it doesn't sound too bad. It sounds like dog shit, that's what it sounds like. I just splatter. Here, let me turn my little ranger. Channel 21 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2. Splatter right off. It's just all wasted power. You just can't. A, B, biased or properly biased, you would be able to turn a variable. That's true. On a class C, without a bench, you can't do it. Alright? You can't. Nope. Turn it back up. Well, I'll start from the bottom. I mean, that's really pathetic. And you see all the distortion in it. Now, actually, we can eliminate the pad and go straight to the input. But then we're talking like a decimal of a watt. Now, can it be done? Yeah, I've done it. No problem. It's the best way of doing it in a controlled environment. If you have one volt variance, like in a COBA 29 without any form of regulator, it's like multiplying the input power in the input like 10 times. You blow it up. So in a way, this is a good idea, but a bad idea, all in the same token. Hope you get something out of this. Fat Boy's not a bad amp seen quite a few of them. Build me something. Stay tuned in. Later.